So guys, welcome back. It is the Oxarnic channel with you today and I have an announcement to make before we get this video going. That's right. So as you may know, I have a Twitter, a Twitter page right now and uh, what's cool about it is if you actually follow me on Twitter, you will be able to find out first, be the first one to find out uh what projects will, will be coming out next so you can prepare all of your parts i think this is a great opportunity to actually you know follow the video and actually have all of your parts ready so amazing and uh yeah let's get this video started uh there is a link in video description if you want the easy way just click on it it will take you to my twitter page so let's get this video started What's up guys, ladies and gents, welcome back to the lab if you're wondering what I'm actually doing today. Uh, I don't know if you want to know, because um, that's going to be pretty cool, so stay tuned to find out what I'm doing. All right, now once we had things figured out, let's actually talk about things that do really matter. And that is the future projects that I will be working on this channel. And I think the projects is a really big part of uh, this channel. Uh, it's something that I had always enjoyed and I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed. Uh, most of my projects are, you know, simple things you can build b by yourself using regular parts and I will be, I will do my best to actually include all the links and everything to all the parts. Now that becomes more difficult as sellers start to remove, uh, you know, the, the links from eBay that uh, I buy the parts from and uh, that's something that you guys have to consider. So the first project I want to talk about is this. Uh, if you guys don't know what is this, this is a amp meter, okay? Let me focus on it so you guys can see. So th this is a amp meter. Now it's using a, a, a digital voltmeter, DVM. And uh, <clears throat> it's, it's a fairly simple device that I would like to improve a lot. And um, I do have a second version that's using an op amp inside in the smaller uh, current chunks. But this particular model, it's a V1, V V1, and it's it's very very simple. Let me focus on the internals. So, if I could only see the screen, that's uh, pro probably the only drawback of my new setup that I can't see the screen of what I'm actually filming. But stupid mosquito, where did it come from? Where did it go? There we go. So. Pretty much, we have a uh, 1 ohm current shunt, and if you use your own slow, 1 amp will equal 1 volt off a drop. It works in most applications. Uh, I wouldn't use this for, for something that's higher than 2 amps, and probably like not a long period of time. It heats up really, really bad because of that current shunt. And, uh, that's why I did the version two. Version two uses a 0.1 ohm uh, resistor and op amp times 10 gain, uh, and that outputs our voltage uh, to the voltmeter, and that shows our current reading. I will be doing a, a better uh, current um, meter uh, version three, and uh, that's actually a project I want us to do together, so I will actually publish the parts list beforehand, as some people had actually proposed. I do like that idea, but I think that it will be more difficult for us to do it as a group, uh, if, if some people actually want to do uh, the same project. It is it is entirely possible, if, if, you, if you like the meter and... Uh, blah 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 if you actually like it and i post the parts you order the parts we wait for a month and then i do the thing it, it is entirely possible but uh, the problem with that is um you know uh first of all i might not actually make the project uh you know things happened in life 
uh, you know, I might stop making vids and we end up with a whole bunch of parts. So uh, we might try it. Okay, we will try it on one project and it might be this one. But uh, most of my videos will be just with the links uh, to the parts. So if you guys want to build it, you can actually buy all the parts. And uh, yeah, that's it on this one. Now, as some of the people had identified in, in the comment area, they're not interested in uh, one thing, and that is mining. But I know, you know, like, as my audience, you guys might not be interested in mining, but there are people that are interested in mining. And, uh, you know, if you do happen to watch this video and you have an interest of how to set up a miner or, you know, how to make it work, how to start it and how to actually earn money. Um, let me know down below. I do have a fair bit of footage that uh, probably might not make onto the channel um, of me making uh, a server type case and putting a computer inside, making everything work, you know, uh, modifying power supplies and all that, explaining how the things work. Um, it, it's pretty cool. Now, if you don't, uh, you know, like if you're not interested, you know, I totally understand that. Um, but if you are interested in how, you know, the computer works and blah, 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 it might, it might be worth of actually looking at. And if there are people interested in it, let me know down below and I will make a video about it. But right now, as I said, I have like 12 hours of footage that, you know, are just on, on a hard drive. Like, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, if you guys want to see it, let me know. And uh, I will make a video that might be a cool uh, discussion. And uh, even though, uh, as some people had said in the commentary, they, they don't care about mining. And, you know, it's understandable. But for uh, this channel, mining became a big part. Uh, right now, I'm mining, and uh, the thing is, it's making money for the channel, and uh, that means better, bigger projects. So, as I said, um, if you, like for now, I'm not filming any new videos about mining, but if you guys want to see something about it, let me know, and we'll make a video. Next project. That's right. So, there is a project that was filmed before the winter, before I went to college. And that was something that I was rushing and I did not totally film uh, the process. And it's a huge Bluetooth speaker. I actually have a video about me talking about this when I was actually buying the parts for it. Um, it's 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 finished. The only thing it needs is a freaking battery inside of it. And you know, by taking a look at this battery, like, what do you think the size of the speaker is? Well, it's as big as the freaking table in terms of width. It's pretty powerful. Uh, it's using a five point five inch, no, for uh, two four point five inch Sony speakers. Uh, and it's using a 5.5 inch subwoofer speaker in it and a whole bunch of tweeters. Uh, it's amazing. It lights up. It has LEDs. It has a battery indicator on top of the LCD screen. It's 24 volt and it's freaking cool. So uh, you will, you should expect me of uploading something like that um, in the next couple of weeks. I think uh, totally doable. It's something I really want to get out there and show and show off to the world because the speaker looks absolutely amazing. The paint finish on the wood is amazing. Um, I did not expect it to turn out that good. Um, it's just amazing. So uh, I want you guys to wait for that project and uh, I will include all of the parts in the video description so you can build something like that and it's amazing next project so 
There is one thing that is really desirable to have for me as a maker, as a inventor, as a hacker, and that is a Tesla coil. And it had been years since I have actually dreamed of making one, of showing it off to people, and it's finally coming to a reality. I, I have most of the parts finally and it's just a matter of research right now of making the driver and tuning it to perfection and making the thing work um, so if you don't know about the size of the coil um, that will be a surprise for you if you had been watching my videos uh, and there is a video about it uh, that I will not tell you unless you are actually going to go and watch all of my videos and you'll find out about the size. Uh, it's going to be an amazing project, a really powerful. Um, theoretical power from 1 kilowatt to 2 kilowatts, uh, depending on you know how much power we can draw. So it all depends on how much power we can actually uh, draw from the wall and how much power we can output and that will all depend on the efficiency of the setup. Now, uh, the thing is, uh, I'm expecting an output power from 1 kilowatt to 1.5 kilowatts uh, of power, and that's a lot of power. Just imagine what driver, what monstrous driver will I need to uh, actually make that Tesla coil work. And it is a solid state driver, so keep that in mind. We are talking about high frequencies and tuning up to perfection. No spark gap, my friends. No spark gap. This is next level of engineering here. And uh, it, it, it's something that always fascinated me that uh, you can really go and test yourself. You choose a project and you do watch videos of people making it. Now, they usually show uh, the finished product and you only see it on the outside. You have no idea how much time it took to actually make it. Now, until you actually go buy the parts and make it yourself, that could be years. Um, and uh, just the engineering part of it, the complexity and the tuning of the circuit can take months uh, for a simple guy like me and I'm not an electronics engineer uh, whatsoever. I have no education in the electronics field. I do have some education in the electrical field. But that doesn't really mean anything. That, that doesn't mean I, I'm, I'm smart. That doesn't mean I can actually make it. Now, if I do manage to make it, yes, I, I can call myself smart after that. But um, it will be a very challenging project, a very costly project. Just the copper wire will be over $200. But I think that is totally worth it of a try. And if it does come out to work, that's going to be amazing. And it's just a perfect project to scare the crap out, out of your friends because they will think you're trying to kill them when the thunderbolt is starting to fly out from toroid. Um, yeah, it's it's just amazing. It's a next level of fun. Uh, you know, it's 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 that razor edge where, like on one side, it can kill yourself. It can kill you, but on the other side, it it's just too much fun to stop uh, messing around with it. With it. So. Uh, that that's going to be definitely a project I will be working on 100%, just like the other ones. And uh, there is only one thing that I want to talk about in this video, and I think uh, it's probably time to wrap it up. So let's show you something that had been abandoned for a long time. As you may know... Um, if you're an old viewer of this channel, you know, let's be honest, there's not a lot of people watching me, but this is still something that is really important. And um, it was a big part 
of this channel and it is a big part of this channel this is the biggest project I have done the most complicated project I have done so far and the most beautiful project I have done in my life and this is this power supply and uh, so much time went into making this thing I'm talking it was days, it was almost two weeks uh, that I was working on this thing. And uh, not only that, uh, that was like probably 16 to 20 days, like five hours a day uh, that I spent on this thing. And uh, I made almost four videos of me talking about this power supply you know, final video explaining how it works, uh, you know, how it operates and everything else. But I never uploaded them. I don't know why. I always thought whatever I filmed was n never uh, going to actually explain all the functionality of this thing, how genius it is and how good it is uh, because it's so complicated I, I couldn't actually figure out the words to explain all of its features and I would always forget something I would go back and film it and it, it just never seemed good enough so there will be a final video part 9 or 10 I think of building this thing and that's gonna be months months after I had actually uploaded the last video about this and uh, it's something that has to be covered it's something that you know it's it's a step that has to be made um, because this is a beautiful piece of engineering uh, by my un understanding and um, this is probably the most you can make in a garage as close to a uh, proper industrial grade uh, power supply with all of its features and everything. This is as close as pro you can probably get. And I think this piece is amazing. Now, a video will be made uh, soon. I don't know when, but this is a very important uh, video and I will plan it really well to actually show you all of its features. Um, and... I want to do it in one take. I just explain everything that uh, this thing has to offer. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you like the video, you all know what to do. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel again to see more cool videos like this coming out. This video had been long enough, but I think it covers everything I wanted to tell you. And if you watched to the end, leave a thumbs up. Okay, leave a thumbs up. There is not a lot of people that, that actually watch till the end. So, leave a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below. I watched till the end. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like your comment because you're the man. You keep the channel going. You give me that those uh, view minutes. So, thank you if you did watch till the end. And I'll see you in the next video. And guess what the next video will be about? That's right. If you watch till the end, okay, let's make a deal, okay, let's make a deal. So, from now and on, I will try, uh, like, in the end of the video, or somewhere near the end of the video, I will actually tell you uh, what will be in the next video. I think this might make people keep watching, and uh, that's going to be quite cool. So, the next video will be about three-phase power. As uh, so a viewer had suggested, the uh, Psy Guy, or... or Sorry, I don't remember your uh, nickname, but it will be about three phase power and we will uh, touch a bit on a, a, a single phase power and I think uh, that will be a really cool video. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm genius! That's right, I'm a genius. Um, you know what... You know what would be funny, guys, if you if this actually makes into the video, me preparing for a video. 
that will be hilarious. Maybe this time, if it turns out good.